Hey guys, this is Chef Omega. A lot of you had questions about how to correctly spec out a surface heater for your particular application. So today, we're gonna turn up the heat and get cooking with some calculations that's gonna help your application get warmed up to the right temperature every time. So the three main factors you need to consider when specking out an industrial surface heater are temperature, how hot do you need your surface to be? The material, what is the size and weight of the material being heated? How fast do you need to reach your temperature set point? Can it be a slow ramp or do you need a fast response? Now, how do we figure this out? Calculating the wattage requirement is the key. Here's a basic equation you can use to find this out. Your kilowatt requirement equals the weight of the material times the specific heat of the material times the change in temperature divided by 3,412 times the amount of hours you want it to reach up to your temperature set point. Here's an example of an aluminum plate being used to heat a solar cell to test for its operating temperature range. First, we have to find out the weight of the aluminum plate. Let's say the weight is 5 pounds. Then we need to look up the specific heat of aluminum, which is 0.21 BTUs per pound per degree Fahrenheit. Then we need to calculate the difference between our target temperature and our starting temperature. For this example, we'll use 149 degrees Fahrenheit, since this is the max temperature for most solar cells. Which if we do the math, 149 degrees Fahrenheit subtracted by 59 degrees Fahrenheit will give you a delta temperature of 90 degrees Fahrenheit. And let's use one hour for the heat up time. So we'll take five pounds times 0.21 BTUs per pound degree Fahrenheit times 90 degrees Fahrenheit divided by the conversion factor of 3,412 times one hour heat up time, which will give you a total power of 0.028 kilowatts, or just 28 watts. And that's how you spec out the right heater for your application. If you have any more questions, give us a call or chat with us on Omega.com. Be sure to like and subscribe.